Imagine filling your car with gas or diesel that came from sawdust or wheat straw. Sound far-fetched? Perhaps not. Professor Mahimpi and his students at the University of Calgary's Schulich School of Engineering are working on that very possibility, creating fuel oil from otherwise waste product and perhaps lessening our demands on traditional non-renewable oil and gas. Basically what uh, we have been trying with my groups is a bunch of uh, uh, PhD students, master students and postdocs, we are trying just to uh, trying to find different means uh, to convert the uh, uh, biomass, especially uh, waste, uh, to useful uh, fuels and, and chemicals. We have been, I have been doing this once for uh, quite a few years, uh, about five, six years ago, and we have got very successful results and we are trying just to uh, get uh, less, than, uh, uh, less than 10 years we get to uh, uh, commercialize uh, stages that we can take it out and use it uh, for different purposes. Process basically is called, uh, we, have, we are having a, a combination of torrefaction, pyrolysis and gasification. What you're going to see that in a moment is going to be pyrolysis. We call it fast pyrolysis and, and a slow pyrolysis depending on how fast or slow you heat up your system. We call it reactor. So we try just to use the waste biomass, what we call it, the things that people don't use it. Uh, it's going to be, especially we, uh, for us that we are living in prairie, Alberta, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, or it's not prairie, but part of it we can use the, the waste biomass. What is it? It's wheat straw, flax straw, oat straw, barley straw. That it, there is no value in a sense for it. We try just to use those. We are not going to go to the food uh, level or uh, uh, food level uh, biomasses, which is going to. We are not competing with the food stream. So what would we happen? We are going to just uh, uh, heat up the uh, with pyrolysis, heat up the uh, our uh, our reactor, and based on this, we are going to have a, a, a rapid. Uh, uh, deterioration of the bounds in the in a sense between like carbon hydrogen nitrogen depending on uh, what kind of biomass you have it and when it breaks so we are going to have different uh, fuel different chemicals uh, the fuel that we uh, we get it we call it bio oil bio oil is not a, a good product there is is uh, is uh, corrosive is acidic is uh, low uh, low uh, energy content is lots of water in it so what we call it we are trying just to uh, to uh, increase or enhance the properties to bring it to the level of uh, uh, oil that uh, by, that you are using the like the, and, uh, the gas that you are using in automobile. So we are gonna we are gonna get there, but we are not still there. Is lots of challenges that we have to answer and face. We are gonna convert the bio oil, which I'm gonna show it is a black uh, liquid to biofuel, which is gonna be uh, useful for for uh, for our purposes. Different. So we are trying just to make like. Uh, Kerosene, we are going to try to uh, get uh, like uh, uh, naphtha, we are going to try to use uh, to generate petrol and different stream of the materials, chemicals. Yeah. Cool. Ultimate goal is just to make uh, bio refineries uh, uh, a small scale in, uh, in, uh, in our university and a bigger scale in uh, maybe Alberta sometime. So, what I mean of bio refinery making syngas through gasification, making uh, bio oil through pyrolysis making biochar through torrefaction and also pyrolysis and a variety of the uh, useful chemicals and fuels. That's our ultimate goal, yeah. And, uh, uh, being a professor in the university always uh, gives me a, an immense pleasure just to do my work with my students and, and postdocs because when I work with them I know that there is a, a lot of other people who are taking advantage of this one and can, and can take this uh, knowledge to the, to the society. There are still some challenges to rise above in the years to come, but perhaps one day rail locomotives, transport trucks, and your car will run on fuel made from sawdust and grain stock. Francois Snow, HD Indy News, Calgary.